Chelsea, just tell it what happened. Well, Adrian was playing with my butt, and I was like, Adrian, stop, we gotta go live. And Adrian turned around and she was facing the wrong direction, so I spun but, around in front of you. And then my shoe fell off. <laughs> and we are live, and that's what you get to see. Exactly. Everything is real. We're live to tape, people. Yes. So, with that said, are y'all ready for some girl chat? Huh? Yeah. Me too, so let's Woo. get it started, let's okay? Do it. First okay. up, a tricky step okay, okay. in any relationship is deciding when to finally let your boo have a key to your place. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, so how would you feel if you finally gained the courage to ask for entry mm -hmm. but got denied? Oh, hurt. Well, really hurt? Yeah. Well, according to Madame Noir, not getting a key from your boo isn't necessarily gloom and doom for a relationship. The writer explains that it's just a key and you only really need to be concerned if he won't let you in to see his place at all. Now, what? that's according to this course. writer. That's she. Now, ladies, I, put yeah. the, I pose the question to the table. Do you think that a key is a successful relationship <laughs> thing? Okay, is that... Ugh. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have to completely <laughs> disagree with Madame Noir on this one. I think it actually says something a lot deeper than just a key, and I think that's what a man would like you to believe is it's just a key. I think it also depends on how long you've been together, okay, and do they have a key to your apartment? Yeah. And I'm yeah. only saying this from life experience. Okay. Um, every apartment I had in New York City, my boyfriend at the time had a key, but I did not have a key to his home. I then let go of my apartment because I came to do the show here. Uh -huh. yeah. So when I was in New York, I would stay with him but I was never given a key. On purpose? Were you, were you, how long denied? was the relationship At that you point, the key? four years. And were you denied? Like, oh, did you ask so, for it? I'm not gonna lie, I was never given the key, but then at some point, I had a sit down conversation where I'm not gonna lie, I cried because I was just like, you had the keys to all of my apartments and now I'm kind of staying with you, but I'm not made to feel And what did he say? Welcome. He was like, that's crazy. Oh my God, Adrian, it's just a key. Exactly, uh, what exactly what this Madame Noir person is Damn. saying. Did he ever give you the key the, then? Yeah, but after I asked for it. And it that is never... why Adrian is no longer with that person. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have to say, you are only treated the way you allow someone to Let treat you. So yes. 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 Wait, but right. I have a question. It's my fault. I have a question. Did you, when in the relationship did you give him the key? Like, uh, maybe two years in. Okay, so yeah. two years in. Uh, eh, maybe it was a year in. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, it was more of a convenience thing. Yes. Uh, that we'd go to events and we'd do quick changes at the house and I had like a house in the city. It was easy to locate. So I'm like, you know how I am. I'd give yeah. any of you guys. I'd be like, oh my God, yeah. You You're wanna come? you that type of person. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like if we're trying to build on something, I think that's a part of building. That's a part of what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. Like, yeah. right. I never felt like I had anything to hide. Right. That's just but the once person you got, I am. Okay, once you got the key, was there any difference? But what or? it took for me to ask for the key was really hurtful. Yeah, And of I course. think that's what a lot of people don't realize is, by the time I was asking for the key, it was because it was embarrassing. Like, now I was at an embarrassing place where I had to be like, so I've been living, like, and I would love to have a key. Like. My question was, why didn't you offer it to me? Why do I always have to ask? Right, right, for because things? after a while, How then you feel awkward. How many times did you ask? No, it's, why did I always, if I'm honest, I always felt like I was pushing for every step. Oh. Do you know what I mean? When you're like constantly like, why should I have to ask for, whereas like, my relationship that I'm in now, my husband would have been like, oh my God, I, this, yes. is this something? But I, I can't imagine explain. any relationship where you would have to feel awkward about being Open. Yeah, especially if it's in a relationship. Yes, That's the whole thing, the you know? And I think I, those are red flags that back then I thought it's me. Yeah, but then right. sometimes it's the person because me, I don't like giving keys to nobody, okay? I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I'm like, but you got your place. Towards, like you want to marry the person, you want to be with them. You're not working towards that Yeah, but that I mean, either. but to me, that's not a key. That's a ring, baby, okay? I don't, I don't care about no key. If yeah. you trying to get married, then you trying to get a ring. But yes. I think for me, because yeah. there's certain people, they just, they just like their own place, and it's not necessarily because it was you. Maybe he's a very private person. Maybe he's very controlling. I was living I'm there. like, I'm saying that because I'm like that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And every time I meet a dude, they want, they want a key. You ain't getting no key, sweet. You were true. No, boo. True. You were living with your boyfriend at that time. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh. Wait, 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 what? Wait, I was living with the person when I wasn't- And he didn't age. give you a key and you was- That's what I'm trying to tell you. You, didn't, you left that little detail out to Auntie <laughs> when I, when I was sorry. When I was on hiatus from here, I'd spend the summers in New York because we don't work during the summer. And so I was like, <laughs> stop looking like that. <laughs> I, I, I- How did you get in the house if you he wasn't You had to knock home? on the door? I would wait, I'd wait, I'd wait till he was coming home or like I'd make myself Oh, busy. hell no, that's God, crazy. Yeah. Okay. Welcome Please. to the conversation. Yes, Lonnie. But I think what it's Adrian soft. is saying actually is symbolic of any any key. If you don't so have you two heifers knew this. I didn't I, know this. Well, I mean, Lonnie, I was just listening to the story. Girl, us in America heard this story. Where were you? <laughs> I know. I didn't know that she yeah. was living with the guy. I thought like yeah. she had she her place. She was living in two days. No. Like, I, lay, had, I had my apartment so she here had her in apartment LA here while she was, was doing the show. When I was in in New York, York. you would stay. I would stay with him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and I was saying that that is not okay, and I'm also learning that there's a certain level of openness you should just comfortably and and maturely have with yes, one another. We did to not some, have it that. might be a key. To some others, like me, I had a boyfriend who wouldn't give me the password to his phone, and I thought that that. Oh, was, I didn't have that hey, either. Come on, at that, that time. Oh, you didn't have that either. No. Well, that's a check, check, bye bye. That's not. No. <laughs> wait, now I know that. Wait. Okay. Wait a minute. I, well, because honestly, you guys, I didn't. I didn't live with Adam. Right. before we yeah, got married. Right. So I didn't care if I didn't have his key and he didn't care if he had, had mine. Okay. Um, but I, I lost my train of thought. Did you guys have but each other's passwords? That's the thing. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, because there's guys. Welcome back. Wait, no, no, wait. I, I know, think welcome there's got to be something that just, shows well, you guys just, are. Okay, you guys, I'm just confused. Because I think that if you're dating, why do, why, why do you have to have his password? I think after a certain amount of time, when What's you that give certain somebody- amount of time? I would say over a year. I think over what year. she's trying to say is there's a comfortability, an openness, a transparency. And a welcoming. A transparency and a welcoming that says, What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. At and some you, point in a relationship, you don't have to be married, but I think you, I hope you have that before you get married. Yes. Well, maybe I'm not that's gonna marry a man no that doesn't already have that. Cause. Well, no, because this is the I thing. Give and no and wait, what I'm just, I'm when trying you to, don't have to I know. ask. When you don't have to ask for it, and they say, boo, here's my key. Well, that's or, what I'm saying. I never, I never had to ask him for uh -huh. his password. I would just be like, hey, well, you know, who are you texting? What is that? And he would just openly Show me. Do you and see what I'm saying? And that's why he is your husband. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's, exactly. Why. Exactly. that's why. That's why. That's exactly okay. the experience I had. So, and there okay. is such a huge difference where I think that there are certain men that have boundaries. And I think you have to respect those boundaries. But at some point, you have to say, now I'm uncomfortable because I don't feel like we're Welcome. even or welcomed, and I'm here giving you transparency, and you are here giving me boundaries. And that's what you're trying to say. I'm, and, and it's not just men, it's women, too. For I sure. Think when you're, if, if, it depends on where, you, where you're trying to take the relationship. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, I always made it clear I would like at some point to have been with that person. Yes, right. But experience. I understand from Got Lonnie's it. perspective, let's Why say not? you don't want to take it further. Let's say you draw the line there because you're not trying to get married or you don't want to lead the person on. And that's when you say, call me, I'll answer if I'm home. Right. Otherwise, I don't want to give you a key right. because yeah. you're not and that welcome. And that's your clue. That's yes. it. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Opposite it. of what Madame Noir is saying is that it's not that big of a deal. I actually think that all of these things are clues as to what this person wants from you and that relationship. Yeah. That is the indication. These are the keys to what that person wants hey, with you. That's the key. With you. Come on, DJ. I just want to make sure I understand. After you made a point of where you are in the relationship. Correct. If yeah. you guys yeah. are not taking it seriously, and you guys are living together, yeah. or you're moving towards that direction, yes. Yes. then it shouldn't be, well, or it, it should be reciprocated. Be open. It if be he has your keys, I believe that he should offer them to you as well. Yeah, but that's why okay. I don't give the keys to nobody. <laughs> the only person who got my key is me. That's okay, that's so real. speaking of people like Lonnie <laughs> saying no, when you're out on a dinner for someone's birthday and they ask to help you pay, they ask to help pay the bill, you're supposed to tell them no, right? So if someone's on their birthday, they invite you over to their birthday dinner, yes. and they say, Tam, will you help me pay for the bill? You wouldn't want them to pay the bill, correct? Birthday people should never pay the bill. Yeah, I completely agree. Okay. If it's your birthday, they you should not pay for your dinner. Correct, okay. All right, so we're all on that. Yes. According to Business Insider, if your friends plan your birthday dinner and they don't pay for you, then you've got some rude friends. Yes. Facts. Yes. But, Agreed. on the other hand, if you ask people out to celebrate your birthday okay. and you don't pay, then now you're the rude one. Okay. 
So I want to ask ladies, when it comes to birthdays, what do you agree? Who pays the bill? If you are throwing yourself a birthday party, then I think you should put someone, like maybe your best friend, or like I'll put one of you, I'll be like, Tam, you're in charge of getting everybody together. This is the birthday party I'd like to have. This is the venue I'd like. I think everybody should pitch in $60 for the thing. Yeah. And then you give people a heads up. You don't invite people to your birthday dinner, and then while they're sitting there eating the meal, go, oh, and by the way, here's the check for 100 bucks. Yeah. That's, right, right. That is absolutely rude. You give right. them the heads up. And if they want to come, they come or not, not. Or you take care of it yourself. Or if you're planning it for somebody, everybody but the birthday person pays for the bill. Yes. 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 Those are the rules. Well, no? I have a friend, and every year she throws, she likes to take her friends out. She's, okay. She's an actress. Okay. You know, and a lot of her friends are actresses, but they're not as successful as her. Okay. Okay? So I'm setting up the situation. Okay, I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right? got you. Yes. And so, you know, it's her birthday. She, is, he, she has invited them. She tells them, just come, you know. Now, they come, and they know some of them haven't been working. They know they don't have any money. So I'm sitting there, and when the bill comes, I see my friend paying their bill. The mm-hmm. ones that don't have money? Or right, the ones that don't have money. Okay. And I feel bad, and I just go, you know what? I'm just going to cover everybody because I feel bad because it's her birthday. Yeah, the and birthday And I feel girl like even though she said, you know, hey, I got you, it's like... You know, they don't, don't order drinks. Them. They don't... Yeah. I mean, yeah. and it's her birthday. And it's like, I just I just wish people... I don't know. Even if you just put $5 in. You know, because, you know, I be testing people. You yeah, know, I'm you like... Can. I'm like, everybody, just put what you can in. And I done seen some of them heifers not put two, Nothing. three, four dollars in. And I'm like, you know what? I just take it. And I just... Yes. And so I did this, like, two years in a row. That third year, I got tired. You know okay. what I mean? And I, okay. what I did was I told my friend, I said, I'm just going to take you out, you and I, together. And I want to take you out. I'm tired of paying for everybody yeah. else. Or, yeah, that's what a scary do, situation yeah. when you put that bill out in the center, man. When you see what people do, Jesus tells you not to judge, but I judge. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. watch what you put down. And they I'm done like, sucked up on mojitos yeah. and yep. Cosmos. Yep. And then when the bill come, they, ooh, I got to go. No, ho, yeah. you don't have yeah. to go. Yeah. always like a... Oh! oh. oh. Who is that? <laughs> well, you know what that is? When you hear that ring, it can only mean one thing. It's the Reels Hotline Bling. Ay. Okay, caller, caller, are you there? And where are you from? Oh, hi! Hey. Hey. hey! What's your oh name? Hey! hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, babe? I'm Ashley. Hi, and where Ashley. are you from? Um, I'm from San Antonio, but I live in Austin right now. Cool, oh, Austin. Right. Ooh, good awesome. food out there. How you doing today? Good. I'm actually working out. Oh, you just oh, your workout to talk to us? Yeah. Yes. I take a break. It. Yeah, my my coach is. <laughs> my coach. Living, <laughs> sweetie. I'm sorry. What, what do you, you do for a living? living? Oh, I'm a nurse. Oh, oh right. Oh, Check it out. We're getting into our next girl chat topic. So can you stick around and chat with us right now? Sure. Okay, good. Because okay. your muscles need to relax anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is your trainer hot, by the way? Oh, my well, God. Well, she's a girl, so yeah, oh, she is well, pretty Well, let's hot. see. We want to see hot women. Give us some motivation. Show us. You see right there? Your trainer. Sure. Oh, hey, oh, baby. She's hi. 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 Thank oh you for God. giving her a break. <laughs> okay, awesome are you ready to the topic was? Yeah, uh, um, yeah, what was the topic? Okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna do it right now. We were talking about birthday dinners. Well, after a birthday meal, there's nothing better than crawling into bed and going into a food coma. But did you know yes. that the way you sleep in your bed with your man can actually say a lot about how you really feel about him? According to littlethings.com, couples who spoon are actually in a healthy place in their relationship. Okay. Also, Drifting apart through the night is actually a sign of maturity and security in a relationship. On the flip side, couples who sleep tangled up in knots are in danger of becoming too dependent on one another. Mm. And the biggest red flag of all is someone who hogs the whole bed, which indicates that they're selfish. (laughs) So ladies, and Ashley, Uh when you're sleeping (laughs) next to a man, what position would you find, would we find you in? Ashley, Ashley? you first. Yes. Well, me and my husband, like, 
Well, I work nights, so the days that I'm off, like I like to, I like to spoon, I toot the booty out a little bit. <laughs> but <and> then, <laughs> he, he holds on to me until I, until he eventually falls asleep. But he always says he is always an independent sleeper. But with me, he's he can he, he'll he'll hook on a little bit and then oh, we'll eventually. Hey, so so I love it. it. You I love are the it. to the role. You guys are spooners. I love it. Okay, I love that. I I, I agree with articles somewhat, but. Haven't you ever gotten into a fight with your spouse or your partner and at night it's just cold and you're not really thinking about who's mad at who, you just spoon up or you just cuddle up because you're just cold and you don't want to be cold alone? Oh, okay. just cold, right? okay. So yeah. I just cuddle up anyway. I don't want to be cold alone. I don't know how many It is, you know? Tell them what y'all do. Well, I have a five-year-old still yes. in my bed, so oh. it's, a, it's a little different. But sometimes when I miss my husband, we kind of just push Aiden on the side, and we actually spoon. And my husband does the cutest thing, you guys. I what? know he's gonna be embarrassed when I say this. It don't matter. But, so, <laughs> we actually spoon, and then he cups my boob. He just. I oh, love that. I from love behind. when that happens. Wait, a cup of the boob from behind? I love it. And then yeah, we switch. Yeah, holding on. So wait, you switch. mean like the Janet Jackson magazine cover like this? Yes, but he does it, he just it's does just it with hand, that one. It's just one hand, it's over. It's that one big you know, arm that like, swoops around yeah. and then his hand just goes whoop. I love it. Like that. And then we switch at night. So then I'll turn around and then I'll cup him. Where but you, not, do you, where do you cup Where do you cup him? <laughs> I love you, Tam. I love you, too. <laughs> I love it.